I was younger, I had never really heard of the word tithe. My parents did it, but it wasn't really something that we had ever talked about. It just never got brought up. Um, when, when I was younger, I just thought that, you know, if you had an extra dollar in your pocket that you would put it in the collection plate and uh, you could give yourself a little pat on the back for being faithful to the church. And um, it's not really until I started coming consistently to The Rock in August of 2012 that I really got the full picture of what it was. Um, I literally had to hear it about 20 times before it clicked that I should tithe. I never really had that leap of faith moment. It was just more of a, oh, finally, I've heard it enough and um, it, it clicked. So that's when I started tithing 10%. And since then, my life really has gotten bigger. But then I got pushed to the extreme a little bit more when I found out just what tithing actually means. I thought it was just part of our income. But then I found out that it was gifts and birthday money and graduation money and Christmas presents and all these other things. It was every single dollar that, that came into us. And I definitely had a rebellion of my flesh. I did not want to do that. I thought, this is mine. I didn't have to earn this. Someone gave it to me. Why does God need it? And then it finally clicked that I wouldn't have gotten that money without God anyways. And so I know that God could do way more with those $10 than I could with the full 100 And it's really become another act of worship to me, just like raising my hands or shouting out in praise. From all of this, yes, I have gotten more promotions. I've moved my way up in the career world. And I have gotten more income, even though I am a teacher, so I don't really know what that's saying. <laughs> but. What sticks out to me is that it taught me to be obedient with things that are precious to me and to give him the things that I ultimately wanted to have control over. And throughout all this, it has taught me to trust him. And at this point, I think of it like putting my key in the car ignition. I know my car is going to start when I do that and I don't even have to think about it. And now that's how I view God. I know that he is faithful to me and that I can trust him for bigger and better things in my life.